Our reporter Rashid Ronald now joins us live from Kisumu. Rashid, how many people have benefited from this donation so far? Uh, thank you very much, Akisa Wandera. Of course, oh, we are yet to confirm the number because the numbers are conflicting. Remember, even Professor Nyang Nyongo mentioning that about six people were killed and 171 people uh, either injured, rather maimed, and, and four people missing. But police are giving us another story. Police were actually initially saying that it was one person who was killed, rather shot at, in Maseno, and then uh, followed by... Uh, baby Pendo who died after uh, he was hit. Six months old a girl who was hit in the head by pol allegedly by police admitted that the Aga Khan then uh, succumbed uh, to the injury. So the number is two. So you see this side is saying this and then the Anyang Yongo side uh, said are saying this. So yet we cannot even be able to confirm the number of people who are going to benefit uh, from uh, that donation. Maybe it was a donation that was made by professionals uh, and businessmen who traveled all the way from Nairobi to this place to ensure that uh, they offer that humanitarian assistance to those people. Of course, we are going to ascertain the numbers and, and update uh, our viewers uh, in our cons uh, cons consequent uh, bulletin. But all in all, uh, there were a number of victims there, about uh, 50 at the, uh, the Jomo Kenyatta sports grounds where the donations were made. Of course, uh, Professor Nyang Nyongo and his uh, deputy receiving the donation and saying that they're going to dispute them to their respective uh, victims across uh, the, the, these estates. Remember, we had chaos in Nyalenda, I mean, de demos in Nyalenda, o Obunga, Manyata, and, and all those uh, estates around uh, Kisumu. Akisa and of course uh, police are accused of having used excessive uh, force to quell uh, those protests and the police are saying no we didn't use excessive force we used reasonable force and where we went uh, and notch higher is because of the situation at that particular time but all in all uh, the numbers are really still conflicting Akisa Andrea. Thank you for that update, Rashid. Rashid Ronaldo, our reporter there, joining us live from Kisumu with that update.